Hello and welcome to another Trades and Tutorials video. This is Jeff Bish, president of MarketGages.com. And in this video, I want to give you a really simple pattern to look for that will identify when market slides that look like this or look like this. Or the reason I'm doing this right now is because if the market does slide lower, I want you to be ready to identify the day in which the market is telling you this market is ready to reverse. So before I get into the details, if you're just finding us on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you don't already uh, realize it, we have more videos like this at marketgage.com forward slash tutorials. And we also give out great trading tips and insight at our Twitter feeds at Market Minute and at Market Gage. All right, so let's get into the details here. The pattern I'm going to show you is really simple. It's best when applied at the right time, and I'll tell you when. And it's best when used in conjunction with other indicators, uh, which is more than I'll be able to get into in this video. And I do get into uh, these particular patterns for our members in our different services. So if you're in one of our services, uh, Day Trading Edge or Slingshots or maybe the recent triple play that we um, just opened up, you will see me using this in our um, weekly uh, training videos. And also, uh, coming up on Monday, I'm going to have a special training session for Triple Play members. And uh, if you're more interested in, if you are interested in Triple Play, go to forward marketgage.com forward slash leaders, and you'll be able to see a replay of that. Uh, but you'll have to do it before Sunday. So, the first question is when you're looking at the market, is when it starts to slide, when will it reverse? And when it reverses, that's when I tend to look to get into uh, the stocks that I want to be in when the market rallies. So I'm a little premature here, but that's the intent. I don't know what today is going to do. Yesterday actually was the opposite of what I'm about to show you. should be no surprise. In fact, in my weekly mentoring videos, I've been saying to watch out for this uh, particular pattern because that would be the bearish pattern that would indicate don't try and buy the dip. And uh, in a minute, you're going to know what that is. And so this is just the first day down. I don't know if we'll have more days down, but I will know if it's ready to go back up. And if we do get more days down, as much as you know, down markets aren't as fun, or I don't think so, they do provide great opportunities. So I look at this down move as potentially the beginning of a, another great opportunity like this one was. And you'll know it too in just a second. So what you want to look for is a market that has some momentum in a direction. So let's, I'm going to start with an easy one to see. And I'm not just picking a bottom because you'll be able to go and look at the markets and see this pattern for yourself. So the basic pattern is that when markets begin to take momentum in, in a direction. So clearly, after the market made this high, gap down, consolidated, and gap down again, the momentum is down, right? Now, once the momentum is down, you want to look at the prior bar's highs. And markets that are ready to reverse will begin to trade above those prior bar's highs. Markets that are ready to reverse will close above the prior bar high. So as soon as we see some momentum, I just make a mental note of prior bar highs. So as this is moving down, you can see it doesn't really trade above the prior bar's highs by much until this particular bar. But when it does, it's unable to close above that high. So it's still going down, right? It's still going down here. It's still going down here until this day. So on this day, we close above the prior bar's high. That's the indication that the market's ready to move higher. Now you want confirmation that it's going to move higher. And confirmation is to significantly trade above that high. When you do that, now I would not have said that this was a significant trade above that high, but at least it was a close above the high. But on the following day, on this big day, when we're significantly above it, then you know the market has reversed. I know this pattern sounds really simple and too simple, but it works really well when you look for it, like I said, 
after some momentum in a particular direction. So let's take a look at the opposite, right? So now the market's heading higher. So now I'm going to keep an eye on prior bars lows. And you'll see that as we do this, the market continues to move higher. And it's not until this day here that we trade, and in this case, actually close below the prior bars low, right? Now, in this case, it does follow through. And it, it, this is a, a head fake because it does follow through and you'd expect it to move lower after this. But remember, what did we say you look out for? Look out for the market should not trade above the prior bars high. So as soon as it trades right back above the prior bars high, you know that that's a head fake. All right. Now let's now we close above it. And while we don't have a lot of momentum here, it's a resumption of this uptrend. Right. The uptrend is still clearly um, up and there was a, a head fake really close to the highs. But now look at what happens. Look at the prior bars lows. We don't trade below. We don't trade below. We do trade below and close below. But what we don't do is follow through. We don't follow through. So it's still in a bullish mode. Continues, continues, trades below, doesn't close below. Continues, continues, closes below, doesn't follow through. All right. So all through this whole period, there's one quick head fake. But this simple rule has kept you in a bullish mode. So look what happens up here. We trade below, don't close below. Trade below again. Now, two times in a row, you're trading below. The market's telling you it's weak. Now, you close below, but you don't follow through. You finally follow through here. And so once this point is established, you know that anything below that point, you want to be out of the market or negative. So you have two bad days, which you'll be happy not to be involved in because you'd be out through this level. And then what happens? At this point, look what's happening on the way down. Even though it's unclear, the market is not trading above the prior day's low and certainly not above the prior day's high and not closing above it through this whole period. So this whole slide here, if you're just sitting back and waiting for another ripe opportunity, this is the day. And then this is the follow through day. Doesn't really uh, close there. So if you didn't really follow through on that one, fine. But then you have this one. OK, so here's my point. When you see these days, I know they're simple, like right in here. Those are the pullbacks, the days and the pullbacks that you want to go look for the stocks that are set up to rally. Maybe you want to trade the overall market, but you can trade individual stocks or ETFs and get a lot more bang for your buck because oftentimes you'll find leaders that are much stronger and all they need is this little push to give you a really good trade. So before I go look at individual stocks, let's take a look at the beginning of this slide. So now, at once this has turned in here, the market didn't really take off and get a whole lot of momentum, did it? Traded, um, traded below here, but didn't close below. Traded below here, but didn't close below. If you'll notice, we didn't close below until here. And then what do you have to do? You have to wait for follow through. Well, yesterday was the follow through day. So the message to, to members has been we close below. Don't get long on the follow through day, which would have been yesterday. All right. So now what we're going to do is focus on prior day's highs. Now, is it possible that today's market could rally back up and close up here? It could. And if it does, then it could indicate that this can be a head fake if we continue higher. But quite frankly, I'm kind of hoping we don't do that and maybe even work our way a little bit lower so that we can find a situation like this or a situation like this. And if you go back, you'll find plenty of other situations that look exactly like this. Right? And then we're going to focus on individual stocks. And here's why. So this was the 16th of November that we got this reversal. So it's on the 16th on that close, you start looking for stocks that are set up nicely. If you're a member of our AM trader and you're a day trader, then this is when you're going to start to realize that now is time to dip your toe in the water and start be more aggressive on your longs, on opening range pullbacks, on opening range breakouts. If you're a member of our slingshots, then you're going to focus on the long patterns. If you're a member of our triple play, then you know that now is the time to really lean into those market leading stocks that have bullish triple play patterns. So on the 16th that we see this reversal, let's take a look at a couple of the stocks that I was focused on 
executing exactly what we're talking about here, right? So I'm not going to go through the whole triple play uh, setup here. Um, there's a video prior to this, I think, in the blog, and also there was a recent webinar. Uh, you can get the replay of that webinar for a couple of days now if you go to marketgage.com forward slash leaders. But the essence of it is really uh, quite simple. We're looking for the blue line. This is a price leadership indicator. This is a volume leadership indicator. And it quite simply, the easiest interpretation of it is if your blue line is over your red line and over your black line, this is a strong stock with good momentum. And if you have the same volume leadership pattern, blue line over the red line, it's a strong stock. This is the one you want to follow. So with that in mind, here's the 16th. So Netflix, why would I be focused on Netflix? Well, Netflix had a good pattern and got pulled down by the market. Now, it also happens to be on the 50-day moving average, but there are other stocks on the 50-day moving average. And this one, when it recovered, you can see it recovered right back into the pattern. Everything looked like it was in gear. So the next day, when it had follow-through, this thing rallied from 112 to almost 130. But here's the real benefit of being in the right stocks. If you look at the spies right now from the November 16th date to where we are now, they've basically done a full a full round trip. We started perhaps right at the 200 around 206.50 and now we're trading around 207 and the market's still open. It could move lower. So for all that time, you've earned nothing. On the other hand, in Netflix, because it's a stronger stock, we're still up at 127 from an entry that could have been around 112. And that means that today, we don't know if the market's going to continue lower. If today the market um, resumes its uh, uptrend, this thing's poised to continue to move even higher. So that's the benefit of being in a leading stock. And the, the triple play indicators are confirming the fact that it is in good shape to move higher. All right. So now before you say, oh, yeah, well, of course it's moving higher. It's, it's a strong stock. Well, there's a couple of other stocks on the 16th that I, I wanted to buy, too. Why? I just wanted to be in these stocks. So here's Apple. So right at its 50-day moving average, right into support, seems like a pretty logical point to be looking at it. Unfortunately, look at what the triple play indicators were telling you at that time. They were both negative. So why would I get into Apple if I'm following the triple play? Well, I wouldn't. The triple play told you this thing is weak. And as it turned out, Apple is where? It's come right back to that same point at where I would have had an entry. It's been a complete round trip. All right. So there's an example where they're not all going to line up just because they're at the 50-day moving average. Now, here's another one that did line up. Right? And this is an even more powerful one than um, Netflix. Why? Because look at its triple play pattern going into the 16th. Much stronger, right? I mean, you can already see that. The blues are way over the red in both the price leadership and volume leadership. So when it gets a pattern similar to the market after a much shallower slide, this is an easy one to say, I want to follow this one. And not only has it gone straight up, hasn't come back down, like Netflix, it's in a great position to continue. I could be a little more patient, so even if the market does continue to fall apart, I can wait a little longer, have wider stops, so if the market doesn't fall apart, then I'm still in it to go higher. All right. This is why I like to focus on leading stocks and time my way into the leading stocks with this simple pattern on the general market. Let's look at one more leading stock. Maybe you're already uh, considering this, Activision. So here again, it's a much different pattern than the other two that I've given you. But here's the 16th, right? This is one that looks like it might have, um, have had an exhaustive top. But remember, the market was sliding all through here. Activision, uh, here's the 16th. Why would I be looking at Activision? Because look at this volume leadership line. 
look at this price leadership line. Yes, it's pulled back here. But if after such a long, strong run, if it moves higher, volume's already confirming. I just needed one good day, and it's back in action. And just like the other two that I've shown you, this one hasn't come back to where we got in. This one is poised to move higher. All right, so that's why you want to focus on leading stocks. Now, one last example of another one that I wanted to get in because I thought it would snap right back, but Facebook, all right? So Facebook was one that did look good, and it started to rally, but look what happened during the recent consolidation. So, And we talked about this in the recent webinar, the, some of the leading stocks that were faltering. So during this consolidation, Facebook has started to uh, really begin to look weak. All right, so this is one that while you may have started in it, the triple plays gave you the warning that this thing is in a dangerous scenario. All right, so back to the overall markets. If the markets continue to slide, you're going to look for that simple pattern. Go try it on stocks. Try it on um, ETFs. The key is that you look for, and in this case, here's the, the lower the lower close, close below the prior day low, and then you look for the follow through, and then after that, you follow the highs down. If the market gets into a choppy mode, then you have to recognize it as being a choppy market. It's when you've got several days of momentum to one side that you look for the snapback. All right. So I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video. And if you're interested in learning more about the triple play, like I said, we've got the replay up for uh, through the weekend, I believe. And I'll be doing a special training session that will give you all kinds of um, really simple ways to evaluate the market um, and be able to understand how to time your way into trades with all types of uh, systems. But the, the focus will be on applying great triple play setups to the right timing in the market. That happens Monday. You need to be a member before Monday. And uh, I wish you the best in your trading.